What's up guys, I'm gonna be going over today my favorite way to practice throwing through the point. There's a lot of coaches out there who will use blatant cues like throw it over the top or bring the angle down or you know, keep your arm long in the back to, in hopes of getting their athletes to throw through the point. But at the end of the day, those cues don't matter. You need to have the feel for the javelin and be able to throw it through the point, whether it's a high angle, low angle, medium angle out to the side so that you can maximize every single throw in competition whether you use good technique or bad technique all right check this out so the first thing we're going to do to get the hang of throwing through the point is we're going to start you could either start sideways or squared depending on whatever you feel like you prefer to warm up but what we're going to do is we're just going to get a really low angle keep the arm super relaxed and throw it through the point at a very low angle like that. All right, now next, since we just did the low angle, we're gonna go at a really, really high angle this time and try to still find the point. So what you'll notice is when we're throwing it really high, we wanna make sure that it's flying at a nice angle like this. Even though it's going really high, we don't wanna see it flying flat against the wind and then tipping over, okay? You'll be able to tell by the way that it sticks into the ground if we found the point or not, okay? One. You're gonna notice it flying nice and smooth through the point even though we're throwing it really high. There we go. See, sticks into the ground at a perfect angle like that. All right, once you take five throws with the low angle and then five throws with the high angle, we're gonna go at a normal competition angle and find the point here. So once you're done with that picking warm-up series, doing five throws at each angle, play a little game. What I like to do is I like to take a cone or a blender bottle and stick it out at about 10 yards, okay? And then I try to throw through the point at the blender bottle or at the cone five times in a row. And then once I hit that distance five times in a row, I'll push it back another 10 yards and keep on going until I can find the point 10 yards, 20 yards, 30 yards, 40 yards, 50 yards, so on and so forth, okay? So we're gonna stick this blender bottle out here a little bit. All right, so that was one. So for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna move it back now, but when you're doing this in your practice, hit about five throws at that distance and then back, keep backing it up. All right, now the blender bottle's moved back a little bit, so I'm aiming at that distance, gonna to try to throw through the point there. All right, so we did it there. Now, we're gonna take the blender bottle and move it back even a little bit further. All right, so now that the blender bottle's a little bit further back, we're gonna to try to hit it through the point and go that distance. There we go. All right, so those are a couple of my favorite drills to learn how to throw through the point. So really, it's all about just that feel. Having that feeling of that correct arm path, and even on a really, really low intensity day like today, like I started my hypertrophy phase over again yesterday. I'm not in a throwing cycle right now, and I'm going very, very low intensity just making this video for you guys without putting any like really power into it, didn't warm up before this but you see how I'm able to still find that point because I'm staying super relaxed. And I have that feel for the javelin and how it comes out of my hand each and every time, no matter what angle it flies at, I'm always able to find that point because of just reps and reps and reps and feel and feel and feel. It has nothing to do with cues.